All right, we are now going to be doing the measuring of leg length discrepancy. This is to check for an apparent leg length discrepancy that can be seen from what we observe. Um, the only way a true leg length discrepancy can be determined is by x-ray. So the purpose of this test is that we're gonna be looking to see if there's any differences in lengths as far as the tibias or in the femurs. And from there, while we, not, we will not be able to change that, we can make adjustments to our treatment to address what the patient needs to help with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and have Chase do, he's gonna be lying on his back on the table. His socks are gonna be off. He's gonna go ahead and put both knees together, feet on the ground. He's gonna bend his knees, bring his feet on the floor, because he's gonna bridge up into a position. Good, so this is just to get his pelvis and weighted, and then we're gonna go ahead and lengthen out his legs. Then we're gonna just get a nice little tuck. So what we're looking for here is we're gonna put our fingers on the caudal aspects of the medial malleoli of both feet. And we're gonna go ahead and check to see if we see a difference more than one finger width. Chase here is pretty equal on both sides. However, if you notice that your patient has a discrepancy of one finger width or more on one leg, you're gonna go ahead and use a tape measure to measure the length of each leg. So I'm gonna have Chase go ahead and point to his left ASIS for me. I'm going to bring this tape measure starting from his AS, IS, the caudal aspect, all the way to the caudal aspect of the medial malleoli. I'm going to go ahead and have him do the same thing on the other side. And I'm going to go ahead and measure the same point on the caudal aspect of that medial malleoli to check for the discrepancy. A uh, positive leg, leg length discrepancy would be if you found a difference in that length on one side versus another. 